How's it going? I'm Tom Henry with Mainline Overland. Today we're going to take a look at Overland Solar's new 120 watt panels. These are the 120 watt flexible panels, they're fold ups. This is the Bug Out 120 by Overland Solar. Um, you can see a couple of things right off the bat about the new design compared to the old. They're using a higher denier Cordura in the housings. Very durable, very thick stitching on this nylon fabric as well. They're also using these more blackout panels. You can see it on this guy here. This is informed by their mill spec version of this panel. So you can see in the old panels, they're using a, uh, a white in between. And now they're using this blacked out version for low visibility um, for obvious reasons for the military. So that kind of informs the civilian version as well. Um, this panel has a very uh, large number of cells here for the 120 watt. It also has grommets and D-rings. And these are metal D-rings, by the way. You can see how solid this is. It's almost like a climbing type setup in terms of the quality of the material used. Um, this one has a, uh, a SAE plug um, going out to it on the output side, that the little quick disconnect SAE. Very good for outdoor use. Um, you've got a cable with an Anderson plug on this side, and that plugs into your input side of your PMW solar charge controller. So this controller has an Anderson input. This is a 50 amp Anderson. This is a 30 amp mini Anderson output. So this quick disconnects and plugs into these alligator leads. Let's say you have a fridge in your camper, in your camper or truck and you're charging your fridge and you're sitting for long periods of time, so you can put out the solar, use that to trickle charge using the controller to keep this battery topped off during the day. Very nice unit as well. Another nice thing that we can do with these, uh, these setups with a little bit of adaptation is we have our Dometic PLB40. This is our, um, our 40 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate LifePo4 battery. It has several inputs, as we know. Um, we have a um, USB setup, we have a two pin DC, and then we have regular DC on the output side. And on the input side, we've done an ad adaptation here at MLO to allow these bug outs to go directly into the panel, uh, or directly into the uh, PLV40. So we have on, on a regular set setup, if you're going, let's say from your car, you've got this 12 volt plug in here, and this is a black Anderson uh, input, 50 amp input. Um, we're going to take that and we're going to, we just plugged a gray Anderson in there, which is also pretty universal. It can go into several different units, including this PLB40. We just adapted that to a fused uh, Anderson plug so that we can take our panel and go right from the SAE to the panel, plug it into this fused Anderson. Just the fuse is just a little extra protection against surge and overcharge and plug that in. You'll see on the panel here, it's going to start to detect this input here from the solar panel. It's beeping just to detect that there is a solar input happening, um, that, this, that this panel is getting some charge. This beeping will just go off in a second, but you can see the arrow going pointing into the battery. And just momentarily that, that alarm will go off and we'll know that we have charge. Um, so this is a great way to Keep this guy topped off as well if you're remote. It's, it's silent and deadly kind of thing. You get, you have the solar set up, you have your battery, you never have to run the vehicle. It's a great way to keep uh, your fridge, peripherals, etc., charged up during your, your excursions. So whether you're doing it via a charge controller and a battery on your vehicle, or whether you're doing it with the PLB40, um, these are two great ways to have your Overland Solar uh, set up uh, uh, ready to go for your next adventure. These, uh, these items are all available on the Mainline Overland online store on our Overland Solar collection and also our Dometic collection for the PLV40 uh, at MainlineOverland.com. Uh, check it out online and grab one for your next trip.